Hey, it's Azure Friday. I'm Scott, and we're talking to Scott. <laughs> <laughs> talking to Scott Guthrie. Uh, here, uh, we're going down the portal side here, going down the blue side. We've looked at all sorts of different features. Now we're looking at uh, Active Directory. Yes. Now we're logged in as you right now. You yeah. have a lot going on. Yeah, this is my account. Yeah, so what we're going to do is take advantage and show off a little bit of uh, some of the capabilities that are provided with what we call Windows Azure Active Directory. Uh, which is one of our newer services on Azure, and it's a really, really cool service. Mm -hmm. Basically, it lets you run uh, an Active Directory in the cloud. Um, and so you can basically run it completely standalone and treat it as an Active Directory that you can use in the cloud. But what's also really cool is you can connect it to your on-premise Active Directory so that all your users inside your existing Active Directory and Windows Server are available in the cloud as well. And you, know, you can actually use a single security model to permission things both on-premise on and with cloud. So does that mean that I can make an intranet app running in the cloud, but it's an intranet app? Correct, yeah. So you can build an ASP.NET app and, and say, host it on Windows Azure websites or virtual machines or cloud services, okay. and say, hey, when anyone inside my intranet connects to it, they're going to log in using their uh, uh, Active Directory credentials, or you know, even set it up so they auto log in um, silently. Uh, but that machine in the cloud doesn't even have to be directory joined or mm -hmm. domain joined in order to actually sign in. Oh, okay. So it's a really nice way you can start to deploy intranet-like apps in the cloud. Uh, yeah, so I could actually like, access like expense reporting without VPNing into work. Correct. That's cool. Yeah. All right, so what do you have here? So I have an Active Directory tab down here. To create a new Active Directory, I just go ahead and say New App Services, uh, Active Directory. And I could go ahead and say Custom Create. What would you like to call our directory, Scott? Super Goo. Super Goo, okay. Um, and now, why does it say on Microsoft.com? This is going to give us a temporary DNS name, so it can be supergoo.onmicrosoft.com. Once it's created, I could then map supergoo.com to it. Ah. But this lets us get started without having to do a bunch of DNS um, configuration. Okay. And I just pick what country I want to keep it in. Hit OK. And basically, what you're going to see here is it takes about five seconds, um, and our directory is created. So if you've ever heard and talked to people that say, wow, setting my Active well, Directory took months. It's freaking me out that things that were hard are not hard anymore. You know what I mean? Like really active easy. Directory, like 10 years ago, that's hard. That was hard. That was a lot of tech ed sessions you had to attend in order to understand. <laughs> um, we now have a directory. You can create any number of directories for free in Windows Azure. Hmm. So um, it's great for developers. Um, I think so we probably have a 64 million directory what, limit. What but, gets charged? Where do I, when do I pay? Uh, for all the basic directory support, you don't pay anything ever. Huh. Um, we do have, we, we do have uh, some premium features coming, yeah. um, but all the stuff I'm going to show here uh, is available for free forever. Oh, okay. And so basically, I got a directory created here, and so what I can do is if I wanted to, uh, and we got a little quick start guide like you've seen before with some of the other services, but if I want to, I can click on the Users tab, and I can start adding users, uh, and I can add users that are in my organization, or I can also point to people that are using a Microsoft account, or I can even add users that are in another Azure Active Directory. So, for example, um, people that are signed up for Office 365 already, I could add them into my directory as well. Mm -hmm. uh, and I can map them into roles. So, it's a really easy way to create users. Um, I can then go ahead and create applications if I want to. So, for example, I could point to a, um, an app that's like an ASP.NET app that's hosted. Okay. Uh, and basically say, hey, I want to connect, let them connect with a web API or I want to build an iOS app, and they can go ahead and connect and authenticate to this directory. Oh, I can do an iOS or native client app? Or? Absolutely. We support both OAuth and SAML tokens uh, with Azure Active Directory. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, you can basically connect to it with any type of device or app. When you added one user, you know, you think to yourself, well, I'm not going to manage my multi, you know, my 100,000 people that work for my giant multinational corporation in here. Correct. I, I already have a, a system. You already have a directory. It. So let's click on the directory integration tab. And then what I could do is I could say, let's enable directory sync oh. with an on-premise Active Directory. Okay. And so what you do is hit save, and then basically you install a tool uh, that we give you, and you run it on one of your domain controllers on-premise. Okay. And once you do that, all of your on-premise users, or a subset if you want to only make some of them, will be automatically replicated and kept in the cloud in Azure Active Directory. And now every time you change a password on-premise, every time you delete a user, add a user, it'll be synced in the cloud immediately and automatically without anyone having to do anything. It's not like an every 90 minutes kind of a thing. No, we basically do change notifications on the directory mm -hmm. and keep them in sync in a smart way. And this one's the subdirectory, that the one that we, our existing directory is always the one in charge. 
Uh, the one in, in the case of, of an on-premise one, right. yeah, your, your on-premise directory is the master, and then basically keeps the cloud in sync. Mm -hmm. uh, and the beauty there is, for a lot of large enterprises, even they don't have IT pros that go in and actually manage users mm. through tools. Often, it's like your HR system when an employee joins is the thing that's actually adding the user in the directory. And so the beauty is, just by setting up this directory sync, all your existing HR systems on premise will still work and now those users will be reflected in the cloud as well. Um, and so it's a really easy way that you can take your existing security model, all of the tools and all the apps built around it inside your enterprise, mm -hmm. and have it be completely reflected in the cloud as well. And then with that apps tab, I can then go ahead and um, add custom ASP.NET apps or iOS apps or any type of app, and now do single sign-on and security in the cloud with the apps that are hosted in the cloud. Mm -hmm. I can also, if I click this Add App, I can actually point to an organizational gallery uh, of SaaS apps that I can use from. So, for Whoa. example, okay, hang on, what does this do? So, let's say I wanted to enable Salesforce. Yeah. I can enable Salesforce. If I scroll down there, there's Salesforce as well, um, and you can see here. Yeah, there we go. Um, if I want to enable Salesforce with the SuperGoo application, boom, it's enabled. And what this is going to let me do is, if I go ahead and just follow these three steps. I can sync, uh, set up a relationship with Salesforce.com yeah. so that I can now do single sign-on with this directory to Salesforce. So I can use my Active Directory credentials, my users on-premise can now sign into Salesforce.com using their standard organizational credentials that they're using today to log into their workstations at work. The beauty about this then is if that employee ever leaves the organization and their Active Directory account gets suspended, mm -hmm. their access to Salesforce.com or any of these other hundreds of SaaS apps that we've integrated with automatically gets turned off. And so it's great for an enterprise that wants to basically make sure that they have complete security over the SaaS apps that their employees are using, mm -hmm. all uh, federated through Active Directory. One password, one login. One password, one login. Uh, it means we'll also have um, reports that you can run um, as part of your apps. And so we're starting to show these up. So you can actually see, for example, uh, sign-in anomalies. So if you start uh -huh. to see your employees are accessing it from work, yeah. but then also accessing it from uh, an internet cafe around the world, yeah. this will flag as a secure, possible security issue, and IT can go ahead and investigate and see if there's been a breach or if there's been some suspicious activity. We also then support uh, a feature that we just shipped, which is multi-factor authentication. And so this is a pretty cool feature where it's so funny that you're saying multi-factor auth, which is a big deal, and then it's like, oh, quick create. Quick create. You're going to set up multi-factor auth in like a second. Which so the is super goo directory here, we'll hit create. Uh, it's not a second, it's probably more like six. Oh, um, sorry. Yeah, I'm, I'm bragging there. <laughs> you're but, just uh, showing off. <laughs> um, and now it's going to, yeah, there we go. Okay. Um, and so basically, click on this provider here. Yeah. And I now have multi-factor authentication set up for this directory we just created. Okay. Um, and what this means now is when a user goes to log in, uh, the very first time we'll ask them, hey, set up multi-factor auth, tell us your cell number, and you type in so like your phone is number. Is it texting primarily, or does it have the QR code? We got an iOS app, we got an Android app, we got a Windows 8 phone app, we have uh, uh, texting, so we can send you an SMS message. We yeah. also have voice authenticate, so we'll actually call you on the phone, nice. and you say, this is Scott Hanselman, and we'll actually check it against a digital Seriously? version of your voice and log in. Yeah, I it's eyeballs, cool. I can put my eyeball up We again. don't have the eyeballs yet. Um, we're also going to add a cool feature so that uh, if you're inside your firewall at yeah. work, you don't actually have to do multi-factor off. Yeah, because you're at work. But when you're at home, that's when we'll actually light it up. And so you can actually configure all of this. And it works not only for the line of business apps that you host, say you built with ASP.NET and host in Azure. We can also then apply this to Salesforce or any of the other apps in that gallery and enable full multi-factor off as well. That's cool. And it's literally, as you saw, it takes seconds to set up all this stuff. Yeah. And you can use it entirely in the cloud. So if, if you're a small company that doesn't have any Active Directory, mm -hmm. you can turn this on, and you don't have to have anything on premise. But if you're a large enterprise, or even a, a, a medium or small enterprise, uh, or company that already has Active Directory, Literally, in a matter of minutes, you can set up the sync relationship. Mm -hmm. And at that point, all your existing security infrastructure that you're using on-premise works in the cloud. And with the exception of the multi-factor auth, which we do charge for, everything I've shown here is free. So you're going to introduce me to these folks so I can have them come and explain this to them. I'm going to do it for real for yep, me. I'd be happy to. Very cool. Hey, it's Azure Friday.
Mm-hmm.